Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to share the news of the alpha release of MuseScore Studio 4.6. This will be, well, 4.6 will be the next kind of big release for MuseScore, and an alpha release means they basically have all the features that are intended to be there. Uh, it's, you know, it's basically works. It's not going to crash too much or anything. It's definitely for testing purposes. Uh, and so I want to show you where you can get it. And then also talk about the beta release, which will follow in a couple more weeks. It'll be a little, uh, a little more tested and is going to include a couple extra things. Uh, so let's, uh, let's talk about what's going on here. So first of all, I I have the post, the an actual announcement in the official announcements forum on MuseScore.org, so MuseScore Studio 4.6 Alpha, and you'll see where you can download the Windows installer in MSI format, as well as the Mac OS installer in DMG format, as well as the app images for Linux in uh, either for the uh, Intel architecture architecture or the uh, ARM architecture. So you can download those, install them, and they will work alongside your, your regular MuseScore Studio 4 uh, installation. It won't uh, clobber it. However, they will share preferences. So if you've set you know your own custom preferences uh, and workspaces, customized palettes, and so forth, it will be shared between uh, your installed 4.5.2 as well as this alpha. So if you read the post, you'll see all the information about what's new and so forth and and there's a lot of really good stuff I'm going to be featuring in in some upcoming uh, uh, tips uh, probably once it actually comes out but I do want to point out the section talking about the beta so what's going to happen for the beta in a couple weeks is uh, it's going to come in conjunction with some new Muse Sounds libraries and capabilities in the Muse Sampler, which is the, what what makes the Muse Sounds work. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be a private beta uh, for Windows and Mac OS. And so you'll see here is a sign up form, and in the on this sign up form is where you can say yes, you want to take part in that beta, and uh, you'll get to try out the new sound libraries and the, the the things that go along with that. So that's what's going to come along with the beta in a couple of weeks, as well as I'm sure there will be some bugs fixed between now and then. When the actual, so that'll be in a couple of weeks, and then there'll be more testing, and then at some point the actual 4.6 comes out, and we'll talk much more about all these wonderful new features. But the reason to be installing it now is for testing. This is always the reason to install an alpha or a beta uh, build is for testing. This is an important, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have users like me and you actually testing these builds. Not trying to use them for real work because, you know, it, it, they might there might be uh, some bugs not found yet that will get in the way of your ability to do real work. But for, for you know really putting it through some some real world test cases at least you know try it on some of your own scores to see how things go and one of the things in particular that makes it that much more important to do to help with testing with this is underneath the hood MuseScore uses a set of libraries called Qt Qt um, that are responsible for a lot of things having to do with talking to your hardware, talking to your operating system, handling a lot of the things that are different between Windows and Mac OS and Linux. And uh, we are moving to a newer version of Qt, or Qt uh, is how it's supposed to be pronounced, We're moving to a more recent version of it, which actually fixes quite a few bugs that have existed in MuseScore for a long time, mostly like glitches in the user interface. Uh, but, you know, a new version of Qt might mean there's some new bugs also. So we really want to make sure that it's tested on a wide variety of different systems. So 
if you find a bug, uh, you're going to go to GitHub to report it. And so actually, let me show you where that is. I'll get that link into the comments here as well on GitHub, the GitHub page for MuseScore. Uh, if you go to the issues section, this is where you can first search to see if there's already someone has submitted a bug report on it. And if not, you can click the new issue button. So lots of wonderful new things coming. We'd love to have uh, as many of you as possible help testing it. And this should be all the information you need to get started.